Hello everyone. Today I'm going to do some transfers of this master liquid culture that I made back on the 31st. You can see I've already mixed it up. It's about halfway colonized and you can see there's floaters on top. It looks really healthy. I've already taken my spray bottle of alcohol and really saturated the top, especially in these holes. The problem with these style of uh, lids and the filters is that you always get some gap in between the filter and the lid because it, it bows down a little bit. Of course, that's not the problem when you're using metal bands and lids and you can put the filter part right on top. So you gotta make sure you wanna add plenty of alcohol and, and sterilize the area in those holes because if you have any chance of the filter being loose in there, when you unscrew this lid, that space of air full of spores and other contamination is gonna get down into your jar. So I've sprayed it well, I've wiped it down a well. I have a sterilized syringe and what I plan to do is to fill this up with some of this liquid culture and spread the liquid culture into these uh, other jars see I have three other half gallon jars and then I got a few of these 500 milliliter Erlenmeyer flasks because I'm out of jars, I gotta get some more jars. So, go ahead and take this. I'll use this jar at the moment to have something to put this lid up on. Carefully set that like this. Wipe down my syringe, make sure it's I haven't touched it over. Now because I'm dropping this syringe into the jar, I want to make sure I don't touch anything on the lower portion. You know, nothing you want to be touching is going to be in between the jar and what you want. See, I just suck some of the some of the liquid culture up. I'm gonna go ahead and relid this because I'll be using some of this jar to inoculate grain bags as well. Uh, there for a second. cc's into the half gallon jars and one cc into the 500 milliliter glass so that will be enough to spread it out not really necessary to flame sterilize the needle or anything like that. I'll just wipe my hands down again between inoculation. Now, of course, I could use a lot more than two cc's into each jar. I normally would. I'm trying to spread this out. 
the more you, the more you transfer over, the faster it's going to grow. The less you transfer over, the more you can expand it, but you know, the more you do expand it, especially this culture that I don't know how many times it's already been expanded, the older the culture will get, the weaker it will get. My hands are a little too wet with alcohol, it makes it a little slippery. I think the next jars I'm going to get are just going to be some standard half gallon ball jars because they'll be more narrow than these. You can see these have a pretty a pretty wide grip if you wanted to pick up the entire jar. It's a bit easier when you have gloves on, but if you have, if you have pretty small hands like I do, it's hard to get a good grip. Got like these flasks there's no lid or anything for it, like that for it of course what I'll do is I'll inoculate these then uh, cover the opening with some parafilm some lab film That'll seal it well. Just kind of press it all together. It'll let, it'll let it breathe enough too. And of course, I have stirrer bars on these as well, so I won't need to shake it up. It'll just it'll stir up like the jars. And the nice thing about a Erlenmeyer flask is that when you stir it, it doesn't slosh up real bad. chilly in my lab room today. That's why this film is a bit stiff. That's why it wants, wants to break on me. Alright. 
then it'll take the same amount of time to get these going as it did this one. And then I'll have, you know, for, for every 12 bags of grain I make, I need an entire jar. So I'm gonna be making a lot of liquid culture to do nothing but grain bags. I just got done doing another transfer of these entolomas. See the dish that I made the transfer from. The two cuts out of it. And only about a about three quarters of an inch across of clean mycelium. It looks like this dish is pretty clean. And then I took two more transfers from this dish. And it was clean too. These two dishes look somewhat, somewhat clean, but they definitely have some bacteria spots. You can see there's a, a colony of bacteria right there. And I redid these king oyster cultures, you can see here. One growing nicely. And then a transfer from the original king oyster culture I made. And the reason I had to transfer it is because I got bacteria in it. You know, I was trying to think why they get bacteria in this. You can see there's one with bacteria in it. See all that smooth growing stuff around center of it. I got bacteria because I got bacteria because I did the uh, I tried the suggestion of storing the dishes upside down like this. I don't recommend that anymore. Or I never really recommended it, but it's not a good idea from what I've for what I've tested. Because what happens is see there's see that pool of condensation in there? you're always going to get some condensation and when you flip the dish over it's going to kind of roll underneath the uh, bottom dish rim and get into space between them and then you know that's where my thumb and fingers been and stuff so it's not a safe it's not a safe zone right there so as soon as you get water in that space bacteria can cross over grow into the dish really fast so that's why that didn't work but yeah store your dishes right side up and they should be fine as long as your transfer and culture is clean and your procedure is uh, really good and secure